Welcome to LMN's video series on how to make job costing super simple using LMN, LMN Time, and QuickBooks. The information we hope to give you at the end of this series will help you have a simple job costing system right out of your accounting that will give you an advantage over almost every competitor that you have in the industry. The purpose of these videos is to show you how to set up your QuickBooks for industry leading job costing so that you can see exactly how you did on a job but also keep tabs on your company as a whole. We'll show you how to export estimates instantly to QuickBooks from LMN and setting the job up in QuickBooks for correct job costing. We'll also show you how to export timesheets from LMN time so that payroll and job costing become instant and you can do it in 60 seconds or less. As a best practice, we'd recommend that you'd watch all the videos in this series before you start playing with your QuickBooks. Starting from the beginning and working through to the end before you start changing anything will give you a perspective of the whole system, what goes in, how you work the numbers, and what comes out of the system. And you'll gain a lot by watching everything first and then maybe going back and watching them again and the second time you go through setting everything up for your specific company. Goal number one is to show you how to get good job costing out of QuickBooks. And both LMN Estimating and LMN Time will help you do that when QuickBooks is set up correctly. Ideally, you'd like to go to your QuickBooks, hit Reports, Job Costing, and take a look at a job in detail. Picking any one of my jobs, I now have a job costing report right out of QuickBooks that breaks this job down by area. Here I've got hardscaping, softscaping, and extras. What we spent on each area, what we earned in terms of revenue in each area, and what our net profit was on this job, but also what the net profit was within each area. So we can see which services we're making money at and which ones we're not making money at. The second objective is to give you some tools so that you can see out of all the types of work you do in your company, which ones are making you the most money and which ones are not in the simplest way possible. And once again, we'll show you in QuickBooks how to run reports using the information that you got out of LMN and LMN Time to have a look at the different services you perform in your company, hardscaping, softscaping, extras, maintenance, snow, or however you want to break down your company. And take a look at each area, see what you're earning in revenue, and what you're spending on labor, materials, subcontracts, rentals, and other expenses, so you can see exactly what parts of your company are really making money and which ones need the most time and effort for corrective action. We're going to assume that, at least for the time part of this, that you are using QuickBooks for payroll. You can use an outside payroll service and you can get some of the information we're about to go through here. However, typically when you use an outside payroll service, the information you get back is strictly payroll information that's lump summed into your accounting. That's not going to tell you what you spent in terms of wages on each job. When you use QuickBooks for payroll, not only can you see the hours spent on each job, but you can also see the exact cost of wages and you know it's accurate because it's tied directly to the paychecks that you produce for your employees. As a preparation tip, before you get started, there's a simple setting that you'll need to turn on in QuickBooks. By going to your QuickBooks and going to Edit, Preferences, you can change all your different company settings. Here I want to focus on the Time and Expenses settings. And under the Company Preferences, I just want to make sure that Do You Track Time is turned on to On, or Yes. You won't be able to enter timesheets against jobs if this is off. So stick with us. In these videos, we're going to show you a simple way to set up QuickBooks so you can get the information out of it that you've always wanted. What's making you money, what's not making you money, and how to fix the problem going forward. 